Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here, back with another camera review. Second one done of the season. It is the Nikon L840, a slightly more expensive super zoom camera than this, which was the L340. 840, 340. This one will be down below in the description box. But this camera costs $300. It's got a 16 megapixel sensor, a 38 times optical zoom lens, shoots in full 1080p HD video, as well has a three inch retractable or flippable LCD screen, perfect for low angle or up high shots. <laughs> so it does use four AA batteries instead of the standard lithium ion. This is where the SD card goes as well. 38 times optical zoom lens, which is the equivalent to an 855 millimeter. So a crazy zoom range. It's got that three inch tiltable LCD screen. And up top, we've got the on and off button, Wi-Fi, as well as zoom rocker. So the L840, despite having the characteristics of a point and shoot, you'll be shooting primarily in auto mode. You won't be able to fit this in your pocket. It is fairly chunky. It's got a nice solid grip, feels sturdy so you won't drop it. But if we fully zoom out the lens, you can see how far or how big, I guess, this camera actually gets. So wear this around your neck strap, keep it in a backpack. Also, it does have a very basic, basic menu system. You'll probably be shooting in some sort of auto mode, switch between say landscape or portrait, but auto I think is the way to go for this camera. You can change things like ISO through the menu system, and you can also change things like exposure, macro mode, and choose to raise the flash. You just gotta press that button up top. Here are a few snapshots that I took. Definitely improved quality over say the L340. I will leave that review down below. But anything ISO is greater than 3200, grain starts to creep in, and low light performance is where this camera really starts to struggle. Just make sure you've got a lot of light. So we're outside now testing out the video recording capabilities of the L840. And remember, this is the built-in mic, and this records in full 1080p HD. An absolutely gorgeous day. I can actually feel the sun and I'm not frozen for once. We'll take a full zoom in, and this is, remember, 38 times optical zoom. And now we're at the full range, and you can definitely act a bit paparazzi-ish. See if we can actually spy on someone here. And if you don't have a tripod, this could be a bit tricky to use. There we go, definitely a bit creepy. And we'll do the full zoom out. So that was my review of the Nikon L840. The L830 as well as the L820 have both done really well on my channel. Naturally, I wanted to check out the successor. If you grab this camera, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you like this video, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will catch everyone else in my next episode. Peace. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here, back with another camera review. Second one done of the season. It is the Nikon L840, a slightly more expensive super zoom camera than this, which was the L340. 840, 340. This one will be down below in the description box. But this camera costs $300. It's got a 